Well, it finally happened. Nvidia came down from Olympus to break up the fighting between us near mortals by handing out the brand new mining cards. And then the people of the mining nation looked up to Nvidia and said in unison, are you serious? Because yes, the first of the brand new Nvidia mining cards, the Nvidia CMP 38 checks, is finally on sale. And you know how the whole point of these cards was to, you know, segregate miners and gamers, you know, give the gamers GeForce cards, give the miners the CMP cards? Yeah, that's not happening, because these cards have a terrible hash rate compared to even some of the more budget offerings from the Nvidia's Ampere lineup. But hey, at least the launch of these cards can tell us a bit more about, you know, what these cards are all about, what's inside of them, and how will it impact the overall production of Ampere cards. Firstly, one of the biggest things that me and many of us sad people around the world were wondering is what architecture these cards will even run on. Well, now we know, because the GPU at the heart of this brand new 30HX card is the TU116, a Turing architecture-based GPU, so basically RTX 2000, but the fact that they are using Turing instead of Ampere should hopefully mean that they can still use as much of the Ampere chips as they can produce and put them inside the GeForce RTX 3000 cards. But honestly, this just makes you feel bad for miners, because again, the whole point of this exercise was to give the miners their own toys to play with and leave the GeForce cards to the gamers. But honestly, they just don't really offer too much of what miners are looking for, because not only does it have a worse ROI than GeForce cards, but also a big part of many miner strategies is to just resell those cards when mining starts to be less profitable again. And the issue with these cards is that since they have no video output whatsoever, the resale value is next to nothing because gamers can't re game on them. Now, people have found ways to game with these cards before by instead using an HDMI or display port found on a motherboard, but still, that's a lot of hassle. And if Nvidia don't introduce some kind of, you know, official way to do it, then many people may just not be bothered at all. And for all of this to say that even though there is, you know, a lot of fighting, a lot of hostilities between the gamer nation and uh, mining nation, we can all, you know, just say that, yeah, these cards are not going to change anything. And I truly believe that these two nations could get along. And at the end of the day, those two nations do have something in common. They just blame everything on Nvidia. So if you found this video interesting or useful or funny or pretty much anything else other than borderline boring, then maybe check out my Patreon because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping my channel and allows me to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to have my Patreons, Captain Burns, Ryan, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs and Wolfie. Thank you guys so, so much. Your support does truly go a long way. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe because only around 3% of all of you watching are actually subscribed to the channel. So yeah, subscribing does help a lot if you do watch my content at all. Also down in the video description below, you're going to find our Amazon Associates links along with our old Customs of Fear link and our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others like this or whatever else really. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.